Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how anyone, even complete beginners, can easily create awesome t-shirt designs using Canva. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to create t-shirt designs, whether it's just for fun or you're growing a print-on-demand business, Canva provides you with everything you need to get the job done. Whether you're an experienced designer wanting to streamline your design process or a complete beginner looking to get started, the templates and tools available on Canva will give you a powerful way to create eye-catching designs fast. In this video, you'll follow along as I go through the entire process to create a new t-shirt design on Canva. This will include how to access the Canva t-shirt design templates, how to customize your selected template with text, images, and graphics, and how to export your new design with transparency to add to your t-shirts and other products. But in order to access all the t-shirt design templates, the entire Canva image library, and export your design with transparency, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. To give Canva Pro a try, and to follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. As you know, Canva allows you to create designs using any custom dimensions that you like. But when creating designs for t-shirts, you want to make sure the pixel size is big enough so the design doesn't look pixelated on the shirt. Typically, I like my designs to be at least 3000 by 3000 pixels, but that can vary depending on the particular design. But when using Canva, you can actually access thousands of different t-shirt design templates that can save you a ton of time when creating your designs. If we go up to the templates tab up top here, then go to t-shirts under personal, we'll be taken to a page where we can view all the Canva t-shirt design templates. They currently have over 2000 templates and any of the templates can be customized in the Canva editor. If you wanted to narrow down your search results, you could use the tags up here to select a topic or you can use the menu on the left hand side here to select a style, a theme, or even a particular color. If you wanted to start with a blank template, you could select the first option here. But for this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create t-shirt designs fast using the Canva t-shirt design templates. So let's scroll down the page and check out the various styles and designs that are available. As you can see, they have tons of different styles, colors, topics, niches, and anything else that you're looking for. No matter what type of design you're trying to create, you'll find a template that you can easily customize to work for you. Canva does have a lot of free templates available, but to access all the templates, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So as an example, let's check out this template here. When you click on a template, you'll see a window pop up where you can see the template details and view other templates with a similar design. Let's click on customize this template to open it up in the editor. So now that we've selected and opened up our template, we can now customize our template by changing the text, changing the graphics, or adding other elements. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, the first tab is going to be the templates tab. Here you can view all the other templates that are available on Canva and change the one you currently have selected if you wish. But for this example, let's stick with the template I already have here. When customizing a Canva t-shirt design template, the first thing I like to do is update the text. I typically already know what I want my design to say, so I'll go ahead and type that in first. So for my text, I'm going to change it to insert coffee to begin. Obviously, this design is for coffee lovers. Let's click to drag the text back to the center here. Once you've changed your template text, make sure you still have it selected, then go up to the top menu and update the font. If you click the first drop down menu at the top here, you'll see a list of all the available fonts on Canva. They have a lot of free fonts, but to unlock all the different fonts, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So take your time and browse through all the different fonts and see if you can find one that you think will look the best with your design. For my design, let's just go with this font here. Now that I've selected a font, let's go back up to the top menu and update our color as well. Make sure you still have your font selected, then click the color icon here. This will open up another menu on the left hand side where you can select any color that you wish to use for your font. Hopefully you already have an idea of what type of design you're trying to create. So go ahead and select the color that you think would work best. For my design, I'm just going to keep things simple and change my text color to white. Keep in mind that if you're creating your design to add to different products, the products may have different colors. To make sure your template looks good, 
you can update the background color and see how it looks. First, make sure you click the background to select it. Then you can go up to the top menu and click the color icon to update the color. I want to add my design to a gray shirt, so let's update my background color to gray. Now that I've changed my background, let's go back to my text and see if there's anything else we can do to make it stand out. With my text selected, let's go back up to the top menu here and click the effects tab. This will open up a new menu on the left hand side where you can adjust the style for your text or adjust your text shape. They have some really cool effects that you can add, such as a shadow, the lift, an outline, an echo effect, a neon glow, and much more. For my text, I think I'll go with the shadow. When you select an effect, you'll also see other options pop up that you can adjust. So let's change my shadow color to black, then adjust the offset and the transparency. If you scroll down to the bottom of the menu, you'll also see the shape section where you can adjust the curve of your text. This can be a really cool effect when creating certain designs. To adjust your text curve, simply use the slider bar down here. But for this design, let's leave my text uncurved. Whenever my designs contain white text, I like to add a shadow so that the text will be visible even on light colored shirts. So now that I've updated my text and added a shadow, let's move on to the next part of my design. But before I continue, I'm just going to delete these champagne glasses here. So I've already added my text. Now it's time to find some good images and graphics to add to my design. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you should see an elements tab. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up the Canva elements library where you can browse through tons of different images, photos, lines and shapes, graphics, and other elements. To find some good graphics to use for my design, let's go up to the search bar here and search for coffee. This should bring up tons of different elements that are related to the keyword coffee. Since I'm only looking for some graphics to add to my design, let's select the graphics tab to narrow down my results. Feel free to take your time and browse through all the different graphics that are available in the Canva library. With so many elements and graphics to choose from, you're sure to find one that'll work great with your design. Canva does have some free graphics available, but if you want to unlock the entire library of photos, graphics, videos, and other elements, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for my insert coffee to begin design, I think I'll go with this Canva Pro graphic here. Once you add a new graphic to your template, you can then select it and resize, rearrange, and edit the graphic any way you wish. Let's move my graphic to the center of my template right above my text. There we go. I think this looks pretty good, but let's search the elements library and see if we can add something else to my design. Since I have the coffee cup for my main image, I think I'll search for coffee beans. When creating your designs, you want to try out different texts, different images, and different effects until you get your design exactly the way you want. So for my design, I think I'll add these coffee beans here to add a little style. Whenever you add a new graphic or element to your template, try to resize it, rearrange it, and get it in the exact location that looks the best. If you need to move one element behind another element, make sure you have it selected, then go up to the top menu and click on position. You can then move your selected element either forward or backwards on the template. Now that I've moved the image behind my coffee cup, I think I'll rotate it a bit as well. To rotate any element on your template, simply select it, then grab this little circle icon here and rotate it as many degrees as you like. There we go. I think it'll look better as well if I move it up a bit. Remember, you might have to move the elements around on the template until you get the exact look that you want. Another tip I want to mention is to make sure your design fills as much of the template as possible. Go ahead and select all the elements, then drag a corner to resize your design. Without doing this, the template that you upload to your products could contain a lot of empty space, and your design can either look pixelated or too small. And voila! Here's my new insert coffee to begin t-shirt design. If you like, feel free to take your time and add even more text, more graphics, or any other elements that you think will work well with your design. But for my design, let's go ahead and download it with the proper settings. To download your t-shirt design, let's look up at the top menu here and click the download icon. 
This will open up the download drop down menu where you can select your export settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected so you can export with transparency. On Canva, the dimensions for the t-shirt design templates are 1556 by 2000 pixels. I like my designs to be a bit bigger than this, so I'm going to adjust the size using the slider bar here. If you plan to add your design to t-shirts or other products, you have to make sure you also select to export your image with a transparent background. Without doing this, the gray background you see behind my image will also be exported and be visible on my product. But in order to resize the template using the slider here and to export your design with a transparent background, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. So once you finish selecting all of your settings, go ahead and click on the download button. Your new t-shirt design should then be exported and download it to your computer. Let's open up my new design and see how it looks. Not bad. I think this will work great for my t-shirts, hoodies, and other products in my print-on-demand store. Whether you're creating designs for your print-on-demand shop or just creating t-shirt designs for fun, the Canva design templates are a super easy way to get the job done. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.